Hi, and welcome to A Punk With Toys. My name is Lawrence, and today we're going to take a look at Boss Fight Studios, Sorazor, Warriors, Sarah Topsian Guard. Now, you look at this figure, it does have the vibrant colors, it's got the pink weapon. I do believe this is a body reuse of uh, the, what is it, the uh, Triax Skeever, so, which is a really good buck. And I do have to apologize in some ways. But the last video that I did, and I'll post a link at the end. Um, but when I said it during reviews, my thing was be honest and objective. And unfortunately, with the last one, I had a lot of issues. And it was unfortunate. I don't know if there's QC, QC issues or just um, a, a flaw in the design of it with the jaw knot. There was just a whole bunch. You can go watch the video. And, and I hate doing it because I like the looks of these. I love what they're going for. It was just unfortunate in my opinion. So anyway. Uh, quickly, this is an army builder, so if you're going to be looking to army build, here they are. This is the one that you want to get. Now, there is a nice little file card that's going to talk talk about them. So I will quickly try and read it, and just so you guys understand, not only reading this helps me get used to reading to the camera, um, it gives you guys an idea of what it is. So it says, handpicked by the leader of the Ceratopsian tribe, members of the C Ceratops Guard pledge absolute loyalty to their leader for generations that have policed the lands, ensuring the strict rules are obeyed by the powerless after their former captain Triax Skeever fled with the valuable contents from the vaults. They pursued re relentlessly until the, tri until, the, until the trail went cold, angry at their inability to capture one, one they thought they knew. They doubled their efforts to find other criminals. They arrest and punish all who dare complain about living and working conditions. Hunting criminals in packs, the guards are relentless. Anger grows in the city. However, the guards are armed with the finest and most powerful weapons available, and none have tried to rise against them. Yet, while rarely seen alone, each guard is outfitted handsomely, with their own spear, blaster, pistol, knife, two smoke grenades, gas mask, and armor. So, there is a comic that does discuss this whole thing that tells a story. And it sounds like it's kind of a communist society is what it kind of sounds like. They're dictators or they work for a dictatorship. So, anyway... Uh, let's just get into this. Let's open this up so no one's looking at me. Hopefully we don't have any issues with this. But if you do like the content, take a second. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Hit that bell notification so you're notified every time I drop a Sorazoric Warrior. Listen, that word is really hard to figure out and say. But once you say it, it's just fun to say. Sorazoric Warrior. Sorazoric Warrior. Let's look at this. Okay, so here we are. Out of his plastic prison. I do believe he used the same body as Triax Skiva, right? Skiva, I think I said it right. Um, so quickly, we'll take a look at what he comes, or we'll take a look at his articulation. So he gets a wonderful T pose. No issues there. He can look up, look down. His neck moves back and forth. So you can get nice little shots there. And like all of them, he has an articulated jaw, which is really nice if it works properly. <laughs> uh, he's got his bicep, not a full 90. This may be even the worst of them all, but it is just single jointed. Wrist move back and forth. This one, no issues. And what I did like about this guy here is the pauldrons here move up nice and easily because it's just part of his overlay. Good to Jean-Claude Van Damme. Knee joint, almost 90. Now again, these figures, ooh, that, figure, that one gets way less than 90. This is like a Super 7 figure. <laughs> uh, ankle rockers. So, quickly pull this figure over here and we'll just kind of take a look and see. So yeah, he's gonna use what looks like the same body. I guess I have to stand him straight up to find out. Yeah, so I believe this is the exact same body. The arms look the same. Feet are definitely the same. Legs are the same. Uh, it's hard to say with the body, but I'm going to assume the body is the same. 
top of the neck, probably the exact same. So the head's going to be different. Um, and then obviously all the overlay. So we'll move this guy over here. All right. So quickly taking a look at him, like all of them, the paint work is absolutely amazing. So he's got these wonderful eyes. There's no paint rub that I've seen on any of these yet. And that is just a menacing stare at you. And you can see the way that everything has the nice paint throughout it. So it's not just one color. And due to the way this green is, it almost looks like it's multiple colors. But in actuality, it's only the two different greens inside of it. And when you open up his jaw here and look into his mouth, he has his nice tongue. It looks good. There's no paint rub on anything. Looking at his arms and his body in general here, his wonderful, wonderful texture. So it's just not a smooth figure like Mass of the Universe. Like you look at this Skeletor here. All right, everything is pretty smooth. That's how all the Masters of the Universe. But again, a, 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 a $15 to $20 figure compared to a $30 figure. Same articulation, but I really do just enjoy these. Uh, they fit with your mode too pretty well. Same with the legs. You can just look at that. Uh, it's just wonderful paint. It, it just it gives it depth. It gives it texture. It just There's so much to it. So he's got his little knee braces, and knee braces, his shin guards, which I do like. They're very pliable, but they stay in the position they're supposed to. Uh, two different paint apps, and everything just pops. Then you look at his uh, his uniform, his chest plate, whatever you want to call it. It has two pauldrons that are connected to it. They move nice and freely. I kind of wish that this guy had the same thing. A lot about that guy that I wish, but oh well. Uh, so, <laughs> you have the orange uh, sash that goes across, or bandolier, whatever you want to call it. it has a little bit of pink right there. Here's going to be the sheath for his knife. His pistol is going to go on the back, and then for his spear, you have this right here now. Hopefully, it stays in there, and it's not going to fall out. But all in all, looking at this figure, everything looks extremely nice. From his gauntlets here, again, just really nice, fun, playable figure. So, so this is the first time we're seeing the spear. It has a slight bend to it, nothing that major. I can deal with something like that. It's got the pink tip at the top. Not really sure why they went with pink other than it just stands out. Here is the pistol. Now... I believe that we have already seen this pistol, but it just looks really nice. It has some pretty good detail, and again, it's considered a blaster, so it's more like a laser pistol. Uh, no port for blast effects. You got the knife, which we have seen before with one of the figures. Nice pink across it. There's no damage or anything up here like some of the axes, but you do have all the different notches that have that are actually using that type of knife. Here we have the smoke grenades. Again, this has already been shown off. They're just pink. Nice little detail. Now, if you wanted this for, let's say, G.I. Joe, you could easily paint these. And then you have some smoke grenades. But let's get to the gas mask. And let's just say this is pretty cool. Uh, obviously, this is meant to hook around his uh, the top of them up here. The pink just stands out. The orange and you can clearly see where like the ventilator is and just the way that it looks so let's try and pop this on them and let's just see if it actually goes on <laughs> it goes on nicely so so this here is just going to kind of hook it on and so this is kind of set there rather than kind of snap on. Once again, kind of a disappointing. Yeah, so it's supposed to push on. A little disappointing. I was kind of looking forward to seeing how they would be in the masks. But it does make sense why they have these, you know, smoke grenades. And that explains why he has one of the smoke grenades considering he was their captain at one time. But all in all, it looks really nice. You got the sheath for the knife. Just kind of slide that straight down. 
Maybe. <laughs> really, really. Ooh. His leg fell off. No. I just popped right back on, so no big deal. Hopefully, it's not like a G.I. Joe. Yeah, the mask is not going to stay on very easily, and that's disappointing. I was hoping this would kind of have, like, how it would kind of snap on. But if a kid was playing with this, I don't think it's going to stay on all that well. And that is disappointing for a uh, play for a kid. Let's see if I can get this knife to... Maybe it goes in the other way better. It is an extremely, extremely tight fit. So it doesn't look like it's going to go down all the way. It's still going to stick up. Pistol is molded. So it fits this way now. These things will pop off, all right? And we saw that with his issue right here where this popped off. So if you push too hard, these things are going to pop off. The glue is just going to come right off of it. Uh, so that is disappointing there. Here we have his spear, his staff, whatever you want to call it. And then it's made to fit right in here. So everything technically can fit on their persons. You'd have to hold the smoke grenades. Because I don't see any place that it's meant to clip onto it. I think it would have been nice if there was just one, you know, a couple little small spots that you could clip this onto. But I don't see anywhere that you can do that, so... There he is. I mean, I think these things just look, they look fun. They're colorful. Uh, you know, aesthetically, this is probably my least favorite, even though he's the same body as this, but he's the Triceratops. But again, if you look at them, you can clearly see they're the same figure, but this is what companies do. They're able to take a buck, uh, use multiple overlays on them. Maybe, obviously, maybe mostly different heads from different weapons and it's a completely different character and i'm perfectly fine with that that's how you build a line put money back into it by reusing a, spe a specific figure and especially one that's an army builder so hopefully they'll get a few more in uh they'll order a few more people will order a few more um and then you can build this big dinosaur army all right so there you go everything's very pliable so that's nice. I don't have a problem with this figure. Happy with this figure, that is for sure. So let's wrap this up. All right, so there you have it. That is the Trice, the Ceratopsian car. <laughs> These things are crazy when you think about it. Uh, now, it does reuse, again, the same buck as the uh, Triax Skiva. I did forget to mention, they do have no pegs in their feet, but they have such big wide feet that you can actually push them up here and they can stand on one foot fairly easily without an issue. So uh, I do like these figures. They're just fun. They're going to fit with your Master of the Universe if that's how you want to use them. You could easily have dinosaurs versus let's say the snake men. Uh, if you want to just have a whole sub, a subculture, let's say you don't want to have, you know, use their lore of good guys versus bad guys. And cause it's really hard to tell, at least so far. But there is a comic, I do believe, that if you go to Boss Fight Studios, you can pick up the comic. Uh, and I think it might even be free, at least the first issue or two. So I should probably do that, pick, catch up on the lore, just kind of see what they're talking about. But these are just fun. And again, if you like Masters of the Universe, nah, these are pretty good. Again, I'm happy with these couple figures. I forgot to mention, he does have a trigger finger. So when you do pop the gun in there, it is like he's actually holding the gun. Uh, I hate when I see people pose a figure and their hands underneath the trigger guard. They're not O-rings. You don't have to do that. Anyway, I'm going to get out of here um, and get off YouTube for a day. because I need to get off. I've been on way too much. So anyway, uh, check out the social medias, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, a Punk With Toys, the Facebook group page, Punks With Toys. Because once you join, you're up Punk With Toys. And last but not least, you know the drill. Take a second, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, hit that bell notification so you're notified every time I do drop 
video. And I did that because Roman decided to come into, come up here, come on, come say hi, here. Oh, look, there he is, oh, little guy. So anyway, he decided to come in because I didn't shut the door all the way, uh, she probably would have heard him whining and crying. So anyway, I'm gonna get out of here, but don't you go anywhere, okay? You wanna see the QC issues that I was talking about? I'll put that video right here, and down here, you can check out the rest of the Sora Zord Warriors in this playlist.